What's good, everybody? Welcome into your daily sports betting brand of record. We call it the early edge. We are powered, as always, by the almighty sports line, the best value in all sports betting, and it is not even close. My tip of the cap this morning goes to all of you out there. Please enjoy this Memorial Day weekend, and hopefully you can spend it with your loved ones, just like I'm going to do later today. Now, when you are the premier sports betting brand in America, you're here seven days a week, 365 days a year. I tell you all the time. Sometimes you're going to have days that aren't as good as others. We were all in on game seven, and the props just didn't go our way. However, Zach Attack coming through very, very nicely with the Celtics plus 430. But the one thing we do better than anybody else, we bounce back. And that's exactly what we are going to do today. Look at the stars of the show. First and foremost, a big tip of the cap to our man Zach Attack. You called the Celtics a long time ago, and they are still alive and kicking and cash that ticket last night. Oh, an incredible series. They love they love the extent series, I'll tell you that. But um, a great game. Made you sweat at the end there, and I'm feeling really good. I hope subscribers are too after those seven games I had on, on the site. But um, get a little bit of rest, three and a half days, and I'm going to assess this. I'm going to take my time on assessing game one, but I do have a series play for the finals. Taking your time, just like the NBA is going to take their time. Two, two days in between every single game of the series except for one. Oh, my God, it's going to feel like school's going to start again before the series is over. Can't wait for that play, Zach. Now, speaking of extending series, on the ice, we're extending all of these series. It seems like Alabama. Good morning, my dear. Good morning. I'm glad we got to see a Game 7 in the NBA last night, and we'll get another one in hockey tonight. So, good day for sports. Damn right it is. And the bullpen is back. Johnny B, what's up, my man? Yeah, good to be back, Coach. Reeling a little bit from that Angels loss last night. They managed to come back from sit down 6-2, got the lead three separate times before blowing it all three. But we're going to bounce back today. You're damn right. It's crazy. When really good things happen to us, it seems like it happens to all of us. And then when bad things happen, it's like uh, across the board. It's funny how that works. Uh, let's get into it. Storylines that could affect the betting lines today. And we're going to right back to Zach Attack because the Boston Celtics and the Golden State Warriors, the NBA Finals, which I'm very much looking forward to. What's your storyline today, sir? Well, just to break down and give you a synopsis of just how great this Boston Celtics turnaround season was, all you have to do is look at the two regular season matchups between the Golden State Warriors. So earlier in the year, when they first met, it was a 111-107 loss for Boston. The, at the time, the Celtics were one game below 500 with a 14-15 and a 15 record. Golden State was 24 and 5. Flash forward to March. Uh, the Celtics won 110 to 88. Their record was 42 and 28. The Warriors' record was 47 and 23. As the regular season uh, wound up, they were just two games back of the Golden State Warriors. How about that? How about that? A little more even than I think a lot of people might even realize. Zach, thank you very much. Now, tonight, you just heard Ali talk about it. Game seven. Rangers and the Hurricanes. And there's a very interesting nugget, Miss Allie, that most people may not know. What would that be? Yep. So I'm um, just looking at last series two. Um, the Canes, they have yet to win a game away from Carolina, but they also have yet to lose one when they're playing at home. So, um, I mean, look at the Rangers. They've only won that one road game against the Pens, and that was kind of a close one anyway. So I think just tonight um, – close it out game seven. I think that we see the Canes get it done because they haven't lost a game at home. So why would they lose one tonight? Oh, look at Allie with the little lean before we get to the picks. I like the little lean there. All right. Now, Johnny B, I tell you what, the people have spoken. So I don't need to do anything when I introduce you other than say, hey, it's time for the bullpen report. What do you got, big boy? Yeah, let's go with the bullpen report today. Uh, this was inspired, obviously, by the Angels last night, but we'll go with the Rays. So they have their three best closers. They would be pitching their third day and three nights tonight. A little bit of a tongue twister there. Blue Jays are completely worked. Every top reliever for them would be pitching their fourth game in five nights, but they are off today. So look to, for that to maybe affect them in the coming days. The Mets bullpen is pretty worked after three close wins as well. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of their top arms were unavailable. However, the Nats bullpen is also very worked after a few wins, so that's probably a wash there. The Cubs and Reds both played a few close games, and all their top relievers would be sore if they were to throw today. But the Cubs have a double header today, so keep that in mind, especially if they're to use all their top relievers, say, in game one to get the win. 
And the Padres bullpen has not only worked, but they're starting to show signs of susceptibility. Nabil Chrismat and Trevor Ro Taylor Rogers both allowed multiple runs in their last appearance, and those are their two best relievers. So look for the Padres bullpen to be a little worked right now. Oh, oh, well, if we catch with the coach today, that might just line up very nicely with the bullpen report today. We'll see that in a moment. Now. It's time to get to our board, but before we do that, you know, as always, we have grown so big, we have to pay the bills. So here's a little word from our partners, and we are back. It is time for our board, and first and foremost, if you are not a Sportsline member, where have you been? There has never been a better time to just try it out. We're getting into the summertime, a little baseball, a little tennis, a little racing, but tonight, tonight, our model tells us it's the hurricane. It is all about the Carolina Hurricanes. We'll lay the minus 150. That's fine. Uh, every game this series, as Allie told you, has been won by the home team. And we believe tonight that will happen in Carolina. will move on. Then play number two from Sports Sign. And we're going to get this from our man, Buckets. That's right. Buckets is going to Brazil, Syria, Internacional against Atletico Galanais. <laughs> I worked on that all night and still buried it. But, hey, all we care about is if they bury a goal on either end of the pitch so we can go a little BTTS, both teams, to score, plus 110. Bucket says that this league, very physical, a lot of red cards. A lot of times the game can be swayed by a red card. So hopefully tonight we'll get a goal, then a red card. Easy peasy. All right, so those are our two plays of sports line. And please... <sighs> Come and become a member so I don't have to answer any more questions about why we are so great every single day. So where do I start today? I believe that Zach has earned the respect after that plus 430 with the Celtics. I believe he's feeling the Celtics once again. Zach, would I be correct? You better believe it, Coach. Plus 135, they are at Caesars. And I kind of leaned the Warriors. I took a long time. I sent this in at midnight. But I just think you look at the way they have won through this postseason. Uh, two hard series, seven-game series. And really, they have excelled on the road. So these first two road games against the Warriors aren't going to deter me here. They uh, are playing phenomenal. And if it wasn't for the Golden State Warriors' prior runs, maybe this would be even a smaller I think it should be a smaller price, but because of Golden State's uh, prior runs, you have to respect that. But it goes back to Boston Celtics just as a team. They're in this championship because Jimmy Butler didn't have that proper supporting cast. We know Jason Tatum is going to be a superstar four to five games, but when he's not, he has Jalen Brown that can give you four. He has Al Horford who's going to go off for a couple of games. He has Grant Williams that's going to have his good games. And then Robert Williams, double-double machine. And then the warrior, Marcus Smart. I think he's the big X factor. We saw it in game six or game uh, seven on how great he played. And I just think you look at the Warriors. They got to this finals maybe more so like the Suns last year just because of other teams having issues. We saw Memphis Grizzlies uh, with John Morant out. Denver Nuggets just didn't have the pieces. And then the Dallas Mavericks were just the right matchup for them, even though it was the Western Conference Finals. So we'll take the Celtics for the series victory plus 135. And I do think they win it in six. That is such a great point by you, Zach, on the Golden State side. Sometimes it's not about are you the best team. Is that, are you in the right situation? Oh, you got a lot of people agreeing with you in the chat. Uh, my man, Buck105 says, Zach, I love that pick. Allison loved my accent when I was doing the Brazil League accent. That's just me being serious. That's just me being serious. All right, now, <clears throat> there's a lot of day baseball today. It'd be a Memorial Day, so make sure you don't get shut out. Get all your plays in at the start of the day. But this game, not till 7 o'clock tonight. But I absolutely love it. Allie, you're up. Okay, so today I'm going to take the Red Sox first five minus half a run at minus 110. Um, we have Rich Hill starting and obviously the Orioles struggle against lefty. So that's always an advantage and especially on the road. And then um, the Orioles are starting Tyler Wells and he actually has been pretty decent so far. But um, we've seen the Red Sox bats gets really hot pretty much through all the games except for that second game of the series. So I think that we see them do that again today. And um, we saw Hill go again and he went like four scoreless innings against the um, Orioles earlier this season. So I think we see the Red Sox take it at least for the first five. Oh, I do too. As always, follow my girl on social media. She's always active and posting pics and reactions and all that kind of good stuff. And also pics right here on the early edge. Now, it is time to cash with the coach. Now, I will admit 
that maybe I took the eye off the ball for a couple of days because I was so focused on the NBA and the Celtics and the Heat. I apologize for that. But if you know me, I'm laser focused every single day. So we're right back at it today. First play, we're going to go Brewers minus 124. Now, the Cubs, they played a really long game yesterday. They've been off for about 16 hours. The Brewers, easy game. Eight nothing burns. Nobody had to play hard yesterday. We love this play. Game one, and it's an early start. Get that in. Then the team that the Brewers played over the weekend, the Cardinals, love them today. Minus 109 against that Padres team that Johnny just told you about. They have to travel all the way to St. Louis and start 11-15 body clock time this morning. They're going to sleepwalk through the first five innings. Maybe I should have played the first five. Maybe that's a little lean that I actually like. So give me the Brewers minus 124 and the Cardinals minus 109, and I'm going to get right back on the train today. So <clears throat> this man's been stepping up, and he actually texts me sometimes in the middle of the night, and he says, Coach, can I please have the maestro spot? So when you are aggressive and you tell me you want the smoke, I have no reason but to give you the smoke. So, Johnny B, <clears throat> the floor is yours. All right, let's do it, Coach. And I love that Cardinals play. Manny Machado has been out of the lineup the past two days as well. I would expect him to be out again today with the early start, so that's big. But my play today is the Athletics plus 155 versus the Astros. It's Paul Blackburn Day for the Athletics, and the Athletics are 8-1 plus 982 this season when he starts. Paul Blackburn himself is 5-0 and with a 1-7 ERA this season. And while I don't think he'll continue this all the season, I will ride this trend until it dies. The Athletics are also coming off a walk-off win, so they're going to carry some momentum in from that. The Astros just aren't really hitting right now. They've scored five total runs in their past four games. They're also worse on the road at 16-12. and Framber Valdez has been very good, but the As Athletics do tend to hit lefties a lot better than righties, so I love the value in the Athletics at home here. Oh, I do too. My man, Johnny B, always educates and entertains. By the way, John in the chat says, Allie, no leans on hockey? John, were you not here at the start of the show? She literally said, I think the Hurricanes get it done tonight. Like, that came out of her mouth. Johnny, you got to be here right at the top of the hour. All right. Grab your paper. Grab your pencil. Here is the recap. Courtesy of the jeweler on the ones and the twos, Zach Attack. He likes the Celtics to win it all. Jason Tatum getting his first NBA title. Then today, you heard the numbers. And our man Blackburn's on the bump. Are you kidding me? A's, you're getting plus 155. Stop it. Then Alabama, Red Sox, first five. You can lay the half a run and bring it down to minus 110. We're cool with that. Then if you want to cash with me today, you're going to go Brewers money line game one. Cardinals money line minus 109. Again, early start. A lot of day baseball today. Then from Sportsline itself, Hurricanes tonight on the ice minus 150. The juice most definitely worth the squeeze. And then a little buckets play from Brazil, Syria. And I will not attempt those names a second time. Sorry, Chad. Not going to do it. Jeweler, show your face. There is the man who runs the entire brand live and working on a holiday. Anybody else running brands out there working on? No, they're not. Jeweler, thank you for being dedicated, sir. Good morning. Uh, it's not my dedication that we're thanking today. It is all of those service members that have given everything in the line of duty. Um, so obviously tip the cap to them. Um, you know, I am going to go with my jeweler's gym today. A little parlay. We're going to take the Hurricanes on the money line at home since they have been so dominant. And then we're also going to switch over to that Siri uh, Brazil game. I have not brushed up on my Portuguese, so I am also not going to take an attempt at a pronunciation for that game. But we will take the draw because ring buckets right up. He says these leagues tend to end in a lot of uh, you know one one ties. Two, two ties possibly with red cards. So I'm going to just assume that Buckets could actually read the lines correctly and that that beer is not stinging in his eyes anymore. And so from our Champions League preview on Thursday, so we're going to take the Serie A game, well, Brazilian Serie A game, draw, and then the Hurricanes money line, tie those together. That is plus 517. That was going to be my question to you, Jeweler. How many tweets do you think you're going to get? Or do you think I'm going to get? 
when somebody goes to their sports book and goes to the Serie A that is the normal Serie A. Coach, I can't find it. Jeweler, I can't find it. What's the, what do you think the odds on the over-under on that is? Well, I mean, admittedly, whenever I started looking for lines at like 7 a.m. and I saw on our site, it said Serie A pick. John had a Serie A pick. I was like, what the? They're done. I was like, what are we, there's a, I was about to hit up RJ. So there's a mistake on the website, but obviously I'm the idiot. So Brazil, Syria, you know, go on your sports book. Might just be under Brazil, not Siri B, Syria. Syria. All right. Julie, you're the man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. I, I may, we may have to uh, start utilizing Allison in the chat. She is very, very active. She says, good luck with all your picks today. Y'all. I wonder if Allison's from the South. You from the South, Allison? You might be the way you text, but we like people who are active. Also, pound that like button for me. It really helps the show grow into the behemoth that it is today. So, you saw the recap. <clears throat> it is Memorial Day. It's a holiday. Enjoy the time with your family today. It is precious. And there's only one thing left to do, and I believe you all know what that is. You've got your marching order. Let's take all of these Memorial Day tickets to right to the pay window for my entire crew. I love them all. Alabama, the bullpen, Zach Attack, and of course, the man who runs it all, the jeweler on the ones and the twos. I am the coach. We're here seven days a week, 365 days a year. We never miss one, and we do it for you, and damn it, we love it so, so much. Enjoy your day. See you tomorrow on the Early Edge.